Hi, I am Stefan Ukransky and welcome to Let's Talk Sports. Today we will talk about the Union tying LA, Philly sweeping the Mets, Temple losing big to Miami, Nova clawing Rhode Island, and finally I make my picks for week four of the NFL season. Unable to replicate an offensive-minded MLS Cup Final from a season ago, visiting Los Angeles Football Club and the Philadelphia Union played to a near near draw on Saturday amid windy conditions in Chester, Pennsylvania. The Union appeared to take a one near lead in the 50th minute when Ty Barbayo hit the crossbar and Daniel Gazdag found the back of the goal on the rebound with a header, but Gazdag was ruled offside on replay. LAFC opened with scores Denis Buanga and Carlos Vela on the bench and looked lost on offense in the first half. Buanga entered just after halftime, while Vela came on in the 71st minute to no avail. Final score, Union Neal, Los Angeles Football Club Neal. Good luck to the Philadelphia Union in their next match against Dallas Football Club on Wednesday. Philadelphia's Nick Castellanos hit his 29th homer to move the Philadelphia Phillies within one win of a National League playoff berth after a 5-2 victory Sunday night, completing a four-game sweep over the New York Mets. JT Romuto had a 2-1 single off starter, Jose Butto in the fourth, and Castellanos followed the same inning with a 2-1 shot to left field that sent the Phillies on their way to their fifth straight win. Harper added an RBI single in the fifth. Michael Lorenzen tossed a scoreless ninth for his first save. Final score, Phillies 5, Mets 2. Good luck to the Philadelphia Phillies in their next game against the Pittsburgh Pirates on Wednesday. Miami's Tyler Van Dyke threw for three touchdowns. Henry Parrish Jr. rushed for 139 yards and two scores and number 20 Miami moved to 4-0 for the first time since 2017, beating Temple 41-7 on Saturday. Van Dyke completed 17 of 24 passes for 220 yards and guided the Hurricanes to a 24-0 lead in the first half. Parrish took it from there and led a rushing offense that outgained the Owls 242 yards to 1 through 3 quarters and 323-11 to overall. Temple quarterback E.J. Warner wasn't much better. He was 22 of 39 for 240 yards with a lost fumble and two interceptions. Final score, Miami 41, Temple 7. Good luck to the Temple Owls in their next game against Tulsa Golden Hurricane on Thursday. Fifth-year quarterback Connor Watkins amassed 279 yards of total offense and rushed for a career-high three touchdowns to spark number 25 Villanova to a 35-9 victory over number 17 Rhode Island in its first top 25 matchup of the season on Saturday afternoon. The effects of a tropical rainstorm moving through the area did nothing to dampen the Wildcats' fortunes on family weekend. Villanova built a 14-0 lead by the end of the first quarter and got strong performances on both sides of the ball to improve its record to 26-10 all-time in conference openers. Watkins and fifth-year running back T.D. Io Duajaye each rushed for over 100 yards, while fifth-year safety Jalen Goodman recorded the seventh longest interception return in school history. Final score, Nova 35, Rhode Island 9. Good luck to the Villanova Wildcats in their next game against Albany Great Danes on Saturday. Last week, I went 1-5 in, in my picks. Getting the Chiefs right, I missed the Giants, Jets, Jags, Ravens, and Cowboys. Ouch, that hurts. Hopefully, I can do better this week. It's week four of the NFL season. Which teams will win on Thursday and Sunday? Detroit Lions versus Green Bay Packers. A battle of the 2-1 teams. The Lions won 20-6 to Atlanta. Green Bay won 18-17 to New Orleans. I have the Detroit Lions winning at Lambeau Field. Atlanta Falcons versus Jacksonville Jaguars. The Falcons lost 20-6 to Detroit. The Jags also lost 37-17 to Houston. I have the Atlanta Falcons winning in London. Miami Dolphins versus Buffalo Bills. 
a rematch of last year's Super Wildcard Weekend. The Dolphins won big, 70-20 to Denver. The Bills won 37-3 to the Commanders. Sorry, Bills fans, the Dolphins are going to take the W. Las Vegas Raiders versus Los Angeles Chargers. The Raiders lost to Pittsburgh, 23-18. The Chargers won 28-24 at Minnesota. I have the Raiders winning in Inglewood. New England Patriots versus Dallas Cowboys. The Patriots won 15-10 to the Jets. The Cowboys lost 28-16 at Arizona. Sorry, Cowboys fans. The Patriots are going to take the W in Dallas. Kansas City Chiefs versus New York Jets. The Chiefs won big time, 41-10 to Chicago. The Jets lost 15-10 to the Patriots. I have the Chiefs winning in East Rutherford. Check in next week and we will see how everyone did. Which NFL player holds the record for most career receiving yards? The answer, Jerry Weiss. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC found on most streaming services. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Let's Talk Sports.